Hey everyone, uh, my name's Andy. Uh, my channel is Finding Value. If you like this content, subscribe, hit the thumbs up button, and leave some comments. Um, today I'm going to go over platinum. And I'm going to in interject some facts here uh, just to make sure everybody understands how rare and cool and awesome this metal is and the, and the potential upside. So we'll jump into this. Um, this platinum presentation real quick. This is a culmination of a bunch of different articles that I read and I just kind of summed them all together with this presentation here. So fuel cells, you know, Bosch has got a new hydrogen fuel cell which you, uh, uses a lot less platinum, which is good for investment because the price can swing way higher and not affect the unit cost uh, very much. So routers claim it'll, it'll need about 10% of the platinum that other fuel cells require. So it's, it's quite a bit more efficient in the, in the use of platinum per car. Uh, Bosch says it believes that up to 20% of global electric vehicles will use fuel cells by 2030. That's a, it's a very large ramp up from where we are today uh, in 2020, 2021. Uh, so here's some other platinum facts. Platinum is considered the rarest of all precious metals. Approximately 90% of all platinum supplies come from Russia and South Africa, and almost all of the platinum mined in South Africa is pre-sold to industrial consumers. It's pretty crazy. And contrary to gold and silver, there are no large above ground platinum supplies to make up for the gap against major supply disruptions. That is huge if you're an investor. There are no above ground platinum supplies to make up for the gap against major supply disruptions. So we are limited to price. And I just went over in the previous slide that not they're, they're starting to get very good at using platinum and using it in trace amounts in a variety of products. So the elasticity of the demand is pretty inelastic. It, it's going to drive higher because they use such little amounts of platinum in each uh, of those products. About eight tons of raw ore has to be mined to obtain just one pure ounce of platinum. That's, that is crazy. Here's some more facts. Platinum is essential for the production of around 20% of all consumer goods. It's a lot higher than what I thought. Uh, the demand for platinum in high technology applications is rising because of its unique properties. It is highly conductive, almost resistant to corrosion, a robust catalyzing agent, and has a melting point of 3,215 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, in, in case platinum mining ends today, above ground reserves would last less than a year. Conversely, gold reserves would last approximately one quarter of a century. Platinum supply is tight even during periods of comparatively normal mining production. It's crazy. Platinum is utilized in a rapidly growing array of products, ranging from spark plugs to industrial refrigerators. The small amount of platinum used in every product means that companies that manufacture them and the consumers that purchase them are comparatively insensitive to considerable increases in the price of platinum. According to many analysts, platinum production is not likely to rise in coming years. Let me say that again. According to many analysts, platinum production is not likely to rise in coming years. The majority of platinum is mined in South Africa. Approximately 10% is mined in Russia and the rest is found in North and South America. Um, they are often byproducts from other mining of other metals. South African producers have already recovered platinum that is close to the Earth's surface. Today, producers must dig far into the Earth's crust for the metal. Deeper mining translates into higher production costs and less total production of the commodity. Huge. The platinum metals require complex aqueous chemical processing for their isolation and identification. Because these techniques were not available until the turn of the 19th century, the identification and isolation of the platinum group lagged behind silver and gold by thousands of years. In addition, the high melting points of these metals limited their applications until researchers devised methods for consolidating and working platinum into useful forms. We are still in the infancy of how many uses we have for platinum group metals. And as we unlock higher uh, forms of technology and, and more exotic uses for more exotic uses and needs for materials, I think platinum group metals is, go is going to fill that gap that we have uh, for exotic materials. Problem is, we don't have that many platinum group metals out there. They're very hard to get. Uh, the last fact I have here is extracting platinum is both capital and labor intensive. It can take up to six months 
and seven to 12 tons of ore to produce one troy ounce of pure platinum. And I think that's crazy in, in terms of how long it can take. So what I'm trying to say is, and, and this is a summation of three different articles I read on platinum, is that one, we've got a whole bunch of uses coming down the pipeline for it. Two, we can't raise production of this very easily. It is basically stuck where it's at. Three, it's extremely cheap right now. It's cheap against all the other metals. We have an abundance of energy and we can get this stuff out relatively easy. Now's the time to load up on platinum. Let me say that again. Now's the time to load up. Load up the truck, physical platinum. Put it all in the back there. Let's load it up and, and bring it on home. This is finding value. Hopefully you got value from this clip. Uh, maybe it changes your investment decisions knowing this information. Uh, and hopefully you have an incredible day. Uh, please subscribe. Please click the up uh, thumb up button and I appreciate your time.